Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a review of uh, Veintec veins. In particular, the ones that we tested were the 2-inch HPs. And uh, we were really pleased with the results that we had uh, with this particular vein. There it is for you. Hopefully you can see the, the profile of it um, over my shoulder there. And the reason I wanted to highlight is many of you, obviously, uh, have probably had the opportunity to use 2-inch uh, blazers. Um, which is uh, certainly another good product. Uh, but the one thing that uh, I really liked about these vein techs when it came to profile is it was a slightly uh, more streamlined uh, profile. Uh, didn't sit quite as high as the blazers. I don't know if you can, uh, you can see that. Here's, here's the blazers. So you can see it's a higher profile. And then the vein techs here, a little bit smaller. It, it's not by much, it's only really about an eighth of an inch, and lengthwise, uh, they're the same. Um, but uh, one of the reasons I bring that out is oftentimes uh, you might find that you have some clearance issues with high profile veins. Um, I know myself in, in particular, uh, uh, that, was, that had been my experience with, with uh, the blazers, and it, it's only an eighth of an inch difference um, that the vein tech sit that eighth of an inch uh, difference lower uh, to the shaft. It doesn't sit, sorry, as high on the shaft. So if you are having a problem with clearance with high profile veins, it's, it's a good vein to check out. And uh, oftentimes it'll give you the clearance that you need, whether it be with your cables uh, due to the way the center shot on your bow is set up uh, or even your rest, having issues with uh, clearing your rest. Uh, it's it's a great vein uh, for that. It could uh, could very well solve your problems if, if that's the issue that you're having. Uh, the other thing that we really liked about uh, the vein tech veins was the good balance that they they struck between um, stiffness and, and flexibility. Uh, it makes it a really uh, user friendly vein to use, um, especially for guys that are fletching a helical. Uh, sometimes if you get a vein that is a little too stiff, obviously. Uh, you don't get the adhe quite the same adhesion that you're looking for, uh, just because it tends to, to fight uh, the fletching machine, the, the stiffer vein, and you might not get that full uh, contact with the shaft that you're looking for for good adhesion. So that wasn't a problem with the vein techs. Uh, they took the helical fletch really, really well. Now when it comes to adhesion, uh, this is uh, one area that vein tech is absolutely nailed. Uh, they've They've perfected this one, in, in my opinion. Um, they actually developed a, a glue uh, that they, a specially formulated glue that they use uh, for their veins. And they call it a VT1000. Uh, but what it is, is a cyanoacrylate. Hopefully I pronounced that right. It's an industrial strength. They call it a per permabond cyanoacrylate. And it sets in four to eight seconds. It's a, it's a fast setting glue. And one of the reasons why it creates such an amazing bond is it actually absorbs moisture at the contact point. Um, so that is uh, certainly something that uh, is taken right out of the equation that would obviously affect the strength of a bond. And it's certainly uh, uh, an excellent product. I mean, I've, I've taken these Maintech veins and I've passed them through targets multiple occasions and uh, they don't come off they don't give any indication <laughs> that they're going to come off and when you do have to take them off there's a bit of work involved so that's certainly what you're looking for uh, for um, good adhesion it's, it definitely has it there they weigh in at about five grains a piece um, which is uh, really great um, as you know I'm always encouraging guys to consider the front of center uh, dynamics of their arrow and one of the simplest ways you can improve that is just by making sure that you keep the weight uh, down on the back end of your arrow so that's something that uh, works out quite well with these the other thing I should mention about the profile when we were talking about uh, the slightly more streamlined profile is uh, it's surprising that that uh, that eighth of an inch difference makes in uh, in wind drift um, really easy obviously uh, to uh, have an arrow uh, pushed around by uh, gusty conditions and it seemed that these uh, stayed a little bit more on target They're, they were marginally better than uh, than the blazers in that department and that's uh, likely the reason why 
so all in all, uh, an excellent vein. Um, lots going for it. Like I mentioned, uh, they take a helical, great, for guys that like the Fletch helical. Uh, the adhesion is unbelievable when you use the VT-1000, so that's definitely a bonus. And the flight characteristics are, are excellent with this vein. The only downside that I can think of really is um, if you use a little bit too much of the glue, uh, you will get a bit of a white residue that kind of comes through on the end. So aesthetically, you know, it may not be the most pleasing thing, but um, a, a very small, uh, small problem really to have. And if you can dial in the amounts that you use, you don't need very much of this glue. Um, the less you'll get of that. Uh, so that's really the only downside I can think to these. So I highly recommend these veins if you haven't had the opportunity to try out Veintex products. Um, they have lots of other uh, um, models in their lineup. Uh, the two inch, they have an inch and a half um, high profile that uh, is really popular with uh, the 3D, 3D crowd. Uh, they also have what they call a super spine series, uh, which again is great for FIDA uh, 3D. So I encourage you to check them out, give them a try, you won't be disappointed. You can uh, go to their website, we'll supply the website, you can check out uh, their offerings there. And uh, if you're in the market for a new vein, uh, check out Veintex products, you, you'll be impressed.